Welcome back everybody. Good morning, at least where I am. This is uh, this is day number two, officially being out here. Yesterday was setup day. Saw some sign there at the end of the day of some elk, which is great. So starting out fresh today. I got this uh, this platypus system. I filled up with water last night, and it's literally just uh, it's like an IV system. And that, so it's filtered water. And uh, this is what I'm using to make my oatmeal and my coffee this morning. And then we are gonna go into the woods and try to see some elk. So last night, the area I found, I marked some spots on my GPS. I'm gonna track back that way and keep going deeper. I went up about a thousand feet, which kicked my ass. It was, I was just out of breath. It was bad. I'm gonna lighten my load a little bit on my pack um, and I'm just gonna day hunt today. And see if we can find at least some more sign really just put together these clues I've also been communicating with Lunkers TV through uh, our in reach devices our GPS devices and so we're comparing notes and everything he's been out here a lot longer he's given me some some good tips so let's go make our coffee can't get the day started without a good pot of coffee now let's get in the woods Okay, so we've made it up here about 500 more feet in base camp. And uh, I'm along one of those trails that I, where I'm trying to find a good elk trail that I was seeing yesterday. I am burning up. It's 41 degrees and I am burning up. I've got a lot more to climb. I'm gonna try to get as high as I can and then just stay on that plateau and walk a few miles and see what I see. I think that they're going to be pretty high this early in the season. But the thing about this area is it's so thick, you can't really see too far. So I might just end up running into them. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. We're going to sweat a little bit. Keep going up, see what we see. I found a creek right here. And I'm starting to see tracks. Like the elk definitely walk along this creek line. So I'm gonna follow it up and then I'm gonna push farther north, northwest, and just ride this plateau. If you look at it on a map, you'll see a lot of these just they're not like sharp mountain, <laughs> they seem really sharp when you're up here but they kind of flatten out and there's some grassy patches on top. I think that's where they're feeding, either that or just smack dab in the middle of the woods. And it's gonna be hard to see on an aerial map, but it's, this is thick. It's absolutely gorgeous though. All right, catch my breath. Let's go up another 500 feet. This area I'm getting to is more open. It's like I've busted through the thick, thick stuff, I think. All these trees are laid down. It's a pain to get over them. This is so much steeper than what it looks like on camera. I noticed that on my New Zealand hunt. Like, it was so brutal. It didn't look as bad on the camera, but uh, trust me, the calories are burning. I'm also starting to get into some rocks. more 
of open areas that grow. There's these grasses. There's like thick lush. This type of stuff right here. It's growing in these little open areas. There's tons of food up here though. It's really green. Oh, I'm also going to be able to see higher up on some other areas that I couldn't see yesterday. Elevation check. About 11,400 feet. 12,000 is like really high. <laughs> so to put that into perspective, the highest I ever got in New Zealand was like 4,600 feet. And there was snow on top of the mountains and everything up there. It's 8.51 right now. I think I'm going to hunt till noon or so. So it'll take me an hour to come down this mountain. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna put the GoPro on my head. We might run into something up here. Let's hope so. Phew. Fresh poopy. Gotta love it. Oh. Did you guys hear that? I see some over there. I've decided to just go after these elk. After range in that spot is 350 yards away. Probably take me an hour to get there if I go all the way down. But I just walked up here and I found a little chute and that's gonna cut, cut my time about half. So this is good. I, this area right here is prime. I'm feeling I might need to spike out here if I don't get it done today. It's high hopes if I get it done today. But first thing I see, that's not a spike. Anything is legal. Cow, legal bull, arrows going. That's fine. So we got to cross this little ravine here, this river, creek, stream, whatever. I think they're going deep into the woods right now. So I'm going to go where I saw them and then track them there. Just make sure the wind is right. Oh yeah. I can see where elk cross here too. See, I was going to have to go through here. And that is, uh, that is looking like death. This is perfect.
Wow. I wonder if they bed right here. All this is weighed down. Tons of tracks. Fresh, fresh poop. Oh my gosh. We're on the juice. Tons of poop. Look at these bedding areas. This hunt just got so much better. Uh, I'm pretty much above them now. I'm above where the trees grow. I'm like right on the line. I'm gonna stay above and I'm just gonna keep going where I saw them. And I'm gonna try to get above them and just, just look and see. We could, this is gonna happen. It may not happen today, but it's gonna happen. I'm gonna get the chance that at least a cow This is the area where I saw the elk. I worked my way up here, came back around, didn't see any. And I just, just wanted to stop right here and see. I mean, it's just, they were all up in here. And the tracks are just everywhere fresh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna follow their tracks. I'm gonna follow where I saw all them exit through here and just keep stalking them. The wind is actually good blowing up the mountain a little bit in my face walking this way so I might be able to stalk them I don't know how fast they're moving but I know they got much bigger legs than me and they do this every day so this is so exciting I consider today a win just being able to see elk and get within 350 yards uh, now I just got to figure out their little movements I know their bedding areas I know this is a key feeding area and what they're doing at certain times of the day I know about 8:30 this morning it was rocking, so whew, go see if we can find some. Maybe they're bedded down. They're they're being real silent. I haven't heard anything, so keep trucking. Just got to this mountain top. Well, it's not the top, but it's close. There's a big wallow out there, and I just heard a bugle. So I don't know if this is the same group of elk. There's more bedding areas over here. Definitely at the right elevation. I'm seeing tons of sign. Let's try to call a little bit, get a little closer to that bugle call. Just spoke to her.
just made it off the mountain, y'all. Wow. My quads are on fire. What an amazing morning of hunting. That was my first experience with elk ever. And uh, it was a workout. I mean, I was all the way up there and more and then some deeper on the other side. But I figured out where they are living. I know a vast expansion of area where there's tons of fresh sign and I was seeing them. Unfortunately, I spooked those ones when I got around that Waller area. I was about 40 yards and they kind of split up and then I went down to another spot, tried to kind of follow them and there was, there was a spike. I was glad to know it was a spike. Like it was just laying down and I glassed it, recognized it was an elk, got ready and as soon as I got up, it got up too and I saw it run off and it was a spike. So I can't shoot those. So the strategy now, I think I'm just gonna have to go up there and sleep with them. Like take my tent and just take food and be up there for a number of days. Uh, unfortunately, that's not gonna be this afternoon. I need to go get some more supplies for my big camp um, so that I can eat stuff there and then have stuff for up in the mountains. And it's a lot to think about when you're out here getting a game plan together to have a successful hunt and fishing trip. Uh, and just make your experience more enjoyable. What I love is, you know, I'm, I'm just sitting here parked on the side of the road here in the National Park and I'm trudging up the mountain and I'm seeing elk and I never saw another hunter, y'all. So this, this is a pretty awesome experience that anyone can go do. It just costs you, I think it's $680 for a elk hunting tag. And of course, I mean, you gotta have some gear if you wanna, if you wanna be a little comfortable, but Thank you guys for tuning in. Of course, we will be after these guys again and doing some more hunting and fishing trips. I spotted some other fishing areas that I wanted to go to on the map today. But thank you for being here. Make sure you smash that like button for seeing elk for the first time here in Bugles and the Great Outdoors. And I will see you on the next one.